Why does Peter Pan always fly? Because he never lands. Nope, nope, stop talking, go to jail. Welcome to Who's the Strongest Just Joking Creature? So over the past year, I've added lots of creatures into Gary's mod. Some Trevor Henderson, some Leo Vincible, and some just nonsense. Isn't that right, Realistic Creeper? But I've never actually tested to see who is the strongest. So I've removed all of the enraged versions, and we shall see amongst all these creatures who is our winner. But first, if you enjoy this video and you want to see more like it, remember to subscribe. It's free and I'm yellow. <laughs> And so we shall go in alphabetical order, starting with Axeman, regular version, versus the Bell Ringer, who is, uh, I'm noticing now, really quite tiny. He's already ringing his bell. And remember for each round to comment who you think's gonna win. Let's turn him on and see what happens. I think they might be friends. But I come prepared for just that scenario. You hate you and you hate you. And there we go. He's made him bleed and he's thrown a shark at him immediately. <laughs> Well, not really even close. Uh, sir, please stop with the sharks. Okay, the axe man uh, with full health makes it onto round two, where he must fight the female <laughs> cartoon cat. Yeah, this was a weird week, wasn't it? Anywho, oh, sorry, uh, get a fresh one. Oh no, she regens, we're fine. Let's turn him on. Oh, she's immediately teleported, but she's bleeding. She's bleeding out. Is she gonna win? The sharks have got me and they've got her too. Did she do, she did a bit of damage? But not really. But now we've got a really Real challenge for the axe man. It's Chimney Head. He's two, maybe three times the size and has about 15,000 extra health. So let's see who'll win. Remember to comment below. No cheating. Oh, they're friends. <laughs> Not for long. Get him. All right, he's not made him weak yet, but he's, oh, the radiation's coming out. Here comes the sharks. He's, <laughs> the sharks. <laughs> he's headbutting him. He's using the axe. Who's, I can't really tell who's winning. I think it might be axe head. Yeah, one more shark. Yeah, and the shark that went through the platform finished him off. Are you OP? I guess skinny is headed. <laughs> Uh, there's radiation permanently around now, so I don't think I can go over here. Nope. Oh, we'll fly. Now it's the turn of the realistic Minecraft creeper. Unfortunately for this fella, because we're not allowing enraged creatures, this dude has to be level zero. So he's, he's kind of weak, but you never know. It might be his kryptonite. It's green. And let's turn him on and see who wins. That's a shark. We're both dead. <laughs> Will you stop with the sharks? My goodness. Oh, please. Mercy. Maybe his weakness is dead graves. Uh, he's in the ground currently. There's a zombie under there. Trust me. With 9,000 health, will he have what it takes? Why are you glowing red? Anywho, get him. Uh-oh. Get out of the ground. Get out. Oh, he's out and he's oh, he's sucking the blood from him. Oh, what's happening? I, I, I died. It's hard to say. He's just oh, uh, instant replay. I think he killed him with his forehead. It might have been a slice and dice. Oh, he took a ton of damage though. Dead grief. I'm kind of impressed, but it's not enough to beat this freaky boy. But will the ender dragon have what it takes? It's just your, your average realistic ender dragon with 28,000 health. Kind of similar. Now this should be a good fight. Will he have the brains to defeat? his healing crystals. Only one way to find out. There he goes. He's dodging all the sharks. Dragon versus flying shark. Oh, he's hitting him with his balls. Oh, some of the balls are getting stuck on the sharks. What the? How is he? What in the physics? The, the dragon has taken no damage yet, but the axe man has. Those sharks, unfortunately, deadly that they are, they're kind of inaccurate when you're flying around. Shoot him with more balls, would you, lad? That's it. Great balls. I think the sharks did kill the crystals, though. He's managed to jump off the platform, uh, so don't know if that means the dragon's gonna try and come down to his level. The dragon's brain's kind of just too big. He knows he needs to stay at range. <laughs> Look how confused he is. He's just walking in circles. See, you should have grown those wings properly. Where's he gone? Dragon? Dragon, finish him. More balls, please. <laughs> it kind of looks like he's throwing out. And oh, he's absolutely peppering him now. Only a few more thousand health. I think each ball does about 800 damage. I kind of feel bad for him. He's sort of a sitting duck. And a few more balls and it'll be over. Take your time, dragon. A any minute now, whenever you like. Just shoot, shoot the ball. Oh, is he reloading? I, I don't know. That's it. Oh, and he's gone. Finally, the axe man has been defeated and the dragon is like, peace. But unfortunately for the dragon, he's got to fight again. 
and this time he's fighting his Minecraft cousin. To be honest, I don't know which of these is the strongest, but I have a feeling they're probably going to be friends, so let's fix that and set them loose. Oh, <laughs> lads, that's a bit sus. Wait, no, come on now. Are they stuck inside each other? Can I remove them? Oh, there we go. Now they're flying. Okie dokie. Uh, he's chasing him. The realistic one is just making a break for it. I think we may have coded them to be pretty equal in strength. And it doesn't seem like they are going to fight. They have other ideas. And so we'll let the Minecraft version progress to the next stage. Just so we can actually see him in action. Seeing as they are pretty much the same. But I don't think he's going to last long. Because his next foe is the Hexapod Giant. With 35,000 health, he's a little bit stronger than the Dragon. Who has craftily hidden one of his crystals under the bridge. Well, let's turn him on and see who wins. He's gone straight for the groin. Uh, he's get Is he getting stamped on? It's hard to say. Is that dragon okay? Uh, the, the giant seems to be... He's trying to go for him. The dragon has escaped. He's shooting his balls. A lot of them are missing. Oh, no. The giant... Oh, he's throwing a lot of fireballs. I don't think any have hit him yet. The dragon's taking no damage and neither has the giant. I think there's only one solution for this. I'm climbing up inside the dragon. I'm gonna control him and hopefully I could do some damage. Okay, you can, uh, there may be a little banana hanging from underneath. That's fine. What's happened? Um, I think he might be angry. Am I winning? Why am I going invisible? What's happening? So the dragons, for some reason, whenever they fight pretty much anything, they just, they're, they're pretty sus. And they have some difficulties actually taking damage. So I think we're going to have to disqualify the dragons. I mean, look at this dude. What are you doing? Which takes us on to our next fight, which is the hexapod giant versus Gerald. Just Jerry, level one. He hasn't eaten any bananas. And there may be a slight size issue, but I believe in him. Get him, Gerald. That's it. Tell him you're going to kill him. Waste time. And hang on. Wait, is he? <laughs> Why did he get so big? <laughs> Jerry did 400 damage, lad. Okay, well, uh, I think we kind of saw that coming. But up next is the Lighthouse Monster, one of the newer creatures with 70,500 health. So he's double the health. So he should win. He's, oh, and he's thrown a, a groin fireball. Kind of, probably the worst sort of attack you could ever receive. And look at that damage. Uh-oh, the smoke's coming out, but uh, it's too late. Oh, he did, he did 10,000. But our Lighthouse Squidly Diddly is our winner. And he gets to fight someone who looks kind of related to him. It's the Mimic from Lucky Block with 12,000 health and a mouth only a mother could love. Let's see how he fares. Um, <laughs> I'm dead. How's he doing? He's bouncing. He's Pac-Manning. Is he running away? Lad, he's... Where, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> he's fleeing. I don't blame him. Oh, the eyeball. The eyeball's going for him. Look at that eyeball. Oh, the chasing eyes. No, don't laser me, please. Is he okay? He killed it. Somehow it died. Okay. Lighthouse took no damage. Fair enough. But his next opponent is kind of similar to him. He He's also round. He also likes fire. Um, and, and he's decaying. He's, he's actually dying as we speak. So we better turn him on. It's the meatball. Oh, and oh, you've missed. But oh, has he missed? I think both of you missed, to be honest. Who's winning? Uh, he's stamping on his ball. And he's dead. But he's on fire. Uh, he didn't take much damage. How will he fare against the robot cartoon cat? With only a third of his health, uh, it's going to be tricky for the cat. But let's find out. Oh, he's immediately yeeted himself at him. And he shouldn't have done that. Oh, he's shooting him, though. Is he winning? What's happening? The cat's getting stomped. He's on fire. He's... I think he's... Yep, he's dead. Would you stop, Scotland? Oh, it's so gross. Took just over a thousand damage. But his next opponent is the much stronger mecha. It's the siren mecha. Let's just make sure we've turned him on. There we go. They have a similar amount of health. 70,065. Does he have what it takes? He has guns. He has the noise ting. He does also have a lot of damage reduction. He's gotten close quarters. Still shooting. Bit of a slash. And... Oh, well, I... Didn't actually see that coming. The Mecha Siren hit the nuclear button and wiped him out. But is he any match for the Booty Horn? Probably one of my favorite creatures for obvious reasons. Let's turn him on and find out. Oh, he's shooting him straight in the stomach. He went nuclear immediately, but he is getting yeeted backwards. Look how many bullets he's firing. Oh, he's almost dead. And he is. He, he, he. He took like 40 damage. Well, he is technically the Siren Head Terminator, so it makes sense. But does he have what it takes to be a strange new life form? Cheeky little alien, that's his heart, I think. Now this dude needs some props to throw as weapons, so we'll give him some tables, um, let him splinter them up and turn him on. And he's always oh, teleporting and he's... <laughs> 
He's dead. The tables are still alive somehow. Hang on, let's just confirm. Hang on, let's give them, give them a chance to pick up some tables. All right, someone needs to teach this robot a lesson. And is it me? It's a super banana with 10,000 health. Comes in all different shapes and sizes. Um, I think we did spawn this one in first, so we'll go with the gladiator with the shotgun. <laughs> you two, back to the bunch. And let's turn them on. And immediately I'm at bay and I'm, <laughs> I'm dead. Did I do, I didn't do any damage. And I've lost my hat. Maybe I'll do better this time with a sword. And only half the hell. Remember, play, place your bets. Who do you think's gonna win? <laughs> it's definitely the banana, right? Oh, he's gone. He just vaporized me. All right, that's enough small fry. That's no moon. It's an anglerfish from hell. Do you remember this throat? <laughs> it's so gross. With 1.1 million health, surely there's no way. Only one way to find out. He's getting shot in the mouth. He's gone nuclear. He's gone splishy splash. Is he taking a bath? Uh, he's yeeted Siren Head all the way in the corner. He's chomping on him. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Simon's hit the nuclear button for a second time. He's getting splashed. And that's it. He managed, Simon managed to do 100,000 damage almost. But he's no match for That's No Moon. But is the female That's No Moon any match for the male version? It's technically in here, so we have to test it. Good luck, lad. <laughs> You're gonna need it. Oh, uh, he is famous for kind of sacrificing himself to her anyway. Uh, he, he did die. He kind of died immediately. And there's another example of it. He's, oh, he's still alive. Life. How? Get back over here. He took more than half of his health in damage. But, uh, oh god. Poor fella. But now it's the turn of the scarecrow. It's the boobak with all of his crows. Maybe he can scare off the fish like he does the crows. He's... He's, he's dead. He just got one shot. At least the crows are safe now. Oh, there's none that survived. But now it's the turn of Mother, the great Mother Megaphone. 78,000 health. Will she even have a chance to spawn in her children? Let's find out. Oh, chomp, screaming and chomping. The battle of the ultimate female monsters. She's screaming again, which is keeping her at bay, but it's not actually doing any damage. And she's taken one big chomp, which has knocked off about 14,000 health. Oh, splish splash. That did about 30,000. Oh my, it wasn't even near her. Come on, spawn the kids. Quickly. Well, you've got her on the ropes. Not really, though. The belly is swelling. Will the kids be coming out? Uh-oh, the splash again. And... That was kind of massive. How did you reach her from there? The moon's back in the ground. Now it's the turn of the sister of the ever sharpening blade. And she could really do with sharpening that blade. But I wouldn't say that to her face. Because she doesn't have a face. Does she secretly have what it takes to kill the fish? Oh, she goes invisible every time it attacks her. She's invulnerable. Oh, she's yeeted though. <laughs> Where are you going? She is taking a slight bit of damage. It's taking her a while to get back into battle. Here she comes. You're lucky that fish is in the ground. Oh, I think is she doing any I don't think she's doing any damage to the fish. What did you, where'd she go? <laughs> what did you do? What did you do with my nun? There she is. <laughs> she's invisible. She's back. She's a bit of a glutton for punishment, uh, but the fish has come out of the ground and is chewing on her. Wh where's she gone? She's only got about half of her health left. The fish has decided to rest and yeet. And with only 1,400 health left, I think one bite more and there it is. She's gone. And she did no damage to the fish. Up next, we've got Thomas the Train. Just the regular version. Uh, I don't know if he's going to evolve. That's why we have the enraged version, which is just technically him as a monster. It's not actually enraged. But here comes regular Thomas. Uh, Thomas, you're gonna, you're gonna get your legs out. No, good job we brought the other one. This one's just a fool. And he is dead. But surely Cursed Thomas will do better with 30,000 health and a lot more violence. Let's hope so. He's going in. He's taking his booty with him and he's yeeted. That snow moon is being real sneaky hiding in the ground because I don't think any of these creatures can damage her while she's down there. And poor Thomas the train that could is about to be Thomas the train that should have stayed at home. Oh, Thomas. Thomas, you can go. You can go. You don't have to keep coming. Coming back for more. He's no quitter. With only 5,000 health left, uh, he's a couple of chomps away. Will this be the final chomp? Oh, he's got one more in him. 400 health left. Thomas, it's been an honor, but you're a fool and you're dead. Up next is the traffic lighthead who has varying degrees of anger. So let's spawn in that snow moon. And oh, she's above ground and she's, oh, she's eating him. I, I, I don't think I even saw it. So let's just do that one more time. And uh, yeah, no, he's dead. And she's in the ground. Train eater, have you got what it takes, lad? There really is only one way to find out. And that's by fighting the fish. Good luck to you. Oh, he's gone. Which leaves us with only the Wendigo. Wendy gonna win. <laughs> is that your heart? Is that, that's gross. You are gross. But will you be fish food? Let's find out. And uh, yes, got, <laughs> just, <laughs> what? Can we have an, a replay? Where is she sending them? 
realm. Is it the shadow realm? But that decides it, ladies and gentlemen. The strongest just joking creature is that's no moon. For now, at least, until we add some more monsters. So if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe if you're new. It's free, and I'm yellow.